So hey guys, this is this Tan James. Okay, right? And I'm here and my grandma's in the room too, okay? So if I'm a little less exciting as I usually am, it's just because I don't want to be an embarrassment. Um, so, yeah, see, she's covering her face. <laughs> you are going to watch that scene with, uh, what's his face, right? Yeah, I will. It's just the girls need to go to bed first. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking for a running tutorial. You guys have been asking for a lot of tutorials. And you know what? I'm deciding to actually go and frickin' do a running tutorial. Alright? So here we're gonna start off with, um, well, here's your character or whatever, right? So he's, he's your character, and in this case, he would be James for me, right? So, let me just enable back faces because I hate the fat. Okay, there we go. Okay, basically, there's... Here, I'm just going to quickly switch his rotation point to normal. You don't really have to do... You don't really have to do that, but uh, that's what I do. Anyways, so, 16... Select legs, and there. And if you're wondering what I'm listening to, uh, I'm listening to the Monster Cat podcast. So I will link that in the description also. Um, but yeah, here is my running tutorial. So basically what you want to do is you want to have your character set up. So in this case for me, it would be James and he has a, a centered rotation point. You want him to be at like about a 45 degree angle yes it's slanted quite a bit maybe even more like 46 okay and the first movement you all the first thing you always keyframe is your right leg and now I'm animating all this in uh, tempo 20 yeah tempo 20 so if you animate in a different thing then just request it and I'll, uh, I'll help you with it so I can probably figure out a way to make it work, okay? So, yeah, basically here you have your first leg movement, which is pretty straightforward, like his leg is up. You keep this leg straight. Now what you want to do is you want to make alter the uh, Y axis about two degrees outwards for each one. So, two, negative two for the, for the right and negative one for the left, or negative, or, and positive two for the left. I'm just going to check something really quick. Okay, yeah. So have it about like that, just kind of look like that, and we'll do we'll, we'll do the body movement as well, kind of slanted forward. Oh, psh, no, okay, click to select, off, okay, here we go. So have the body kind of centered forward, right? Opposite side of the body is going to be pointed forward, and the... Bye! Night, uh, night, 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 night! Once, night! Well, let me just finish this. Night. Okay. So now we have, so we have him slanted, right? So kind of have him turned about thirty degrees. Maybe no, not thirty degrees. That's too much. Um. So just kind of look at the values as I go along as well. Just kind of the general look is how I judge the running cycle. I don't go by specific values. I just, I just judge it as I go along. I kind of mess around with all axes as I animate this, so. So as you can see, it's now starting to look a bit like my running cycle. Actually, you want to have the body kind of slanted back a bit, but bent forward. That's what it was, okay. And then kind of turn this a bit so it's like out. What is wrong? Okay, some something something doesn't feel right when I'm looking at this. Yeah, I just like I said, I just go by how it looks when like how it looks. So okay, here we go. Oh, frick. Okay. Um, so there's your first setup. 
Uh, so you want to go about, you want to leave a space between, you want to go to keyframe two, so the set, so skip a key, skip a slot and then go to the next. Uh, add a key, add keyframes for the legs and everything, and you want the leg that was forward to be kind of like up a bit like that and extended a little with a slight bend. You want the leg that was backwards to be kind of raised up as well. Now I know it doesn't look like anything right now, but it will look better. And then same thing, leave a space, and then the leg that was forward is now going to be on the ground, and it's going to be have like a bend like this. And then the leg that was back is going to be completely bent and raised as if it was raised off the ground. Now I'll position like the arm, the I'll position everything properly later. It's just I'm working on this. Okay, so. Next you want, and remember all this is linear, okay? And then the one after this, you want to have it positioned as the same first keyframe where the leg that was raised off the ground is now in this position where it's forward and completely bent. The leg that was previously forward and completely bent is now extended totally. And then the same thing goes again. You repeat it, it goes forward. You can raise this, you raise this one down. That's the only difference between it. Raise this one up, slight extension. One that's back moves forward. One that's forward moves back. So there, that, those are your leg movements. And basically, what you'll do is you'll just basically copy and paste them, and it, it just it just flows, right? So I'm not going to do that right now because I got to teach you the body movements now. So now we got to position the body movements, okay? So now what you want to do is you want to skip. So you want to go to one. So here's your first movement, second set of movements, third set of movements, and fourth set of movements. Okay. So the fourth set is with the is the opposite of the starting set. So if you look, this leg is back. Now it's forward. Basically, the opposite set is where you want to start your next body movement. So you want to kind of kind of turn them the same amount. So about 20 degrees, which is what I have. If you have something else, just kind of same idea basically right I'm honestly not good at doing tutorials so I don't do them that often okay here we go there is a lot of freaking rattling going on upstairs okay uh, yeah, what? That's up there. yeah. My run is more of like a power run, so that's why it's... And I've changed from when the arms kind of go across the body to, like... Because I remember I used to have them, like, kind of positioned in a way that they looked like they were doing this. I used to have the run cycle like this. And then they would kind of come across the body, right? Yeah, I don't do that anymore. I do... I do a mix of that and then the actual running. I don't like that. It looks like it's too still. Okay, let me fix that really quick. Now it looks off right now, but if you copy and paste it, It looks pretty decent. From the forward, it looks pretty good. From an angle, it looks pretty good. The only thing is the head is kind of off. Let me fix the head. Yeah, okay, fix the head. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to, uh, well, uh, basically, if you're going to have your character move somewhere, you might as well just slide him across the ground at a pretty decent rate. You don't want to sync up the feet because then it just looks too slow. You don't want to over-exaggerate it because then it looks too fast. You want to have it at like a perfect speed, like a, a, a realistic running speed. So, I kind of estimate it. I just kind of do look at it as I go along. Yeah, there you go. See? So... 
say so. If you want me to do a tutorial on the one where James has his arms kind of like swinging side to side, then I'll do that too if you guys want me to. But, um. And you can even offset these arms a little bit so they can be delayed or they can be faster than the actual body movement. So if you have them faster than the body movements, they look like that. So they look like they're kind of like lagging behind. And if you want, you can set it up so it's uh, it's faster. So it looks like it looks like he's he's like clawing his way. Anyway, so that's that's your running cycle. Now, if you want to be really really nice with it, you could do a folder method, um, z-axis method, basically. So basically, your human becomes your, you rename your human to uh, character character Z basically right and this will be your movement point all right so here you go um, so yeah we have we have that set up right so now what you want to do is you want to keyframe you want to set a keyframe between this and this point so right here and kind of have, it, have the character raised up a little bit and then here you want the character to be down a little bit oh sorry whoops here you want the Z point to be down a little bit okay and this just repeats over and over again so you can just copy and paste it over and over again since it's in this very simple Z form and you don't need to worry about um, you don't need to worry about uh, like messed up positioning because you can use the folder to actually position everything except for the fact that he does that great um, <laughs> didn't want that okay so reset everything yeah there we go see he looks pretty good So if I just kind of stop it and I'll, I'll show you, see? Now I realize this is a very sloppy version of my running cycle. I did not take much time as I usually do. Let's see. Here, I'm just trying to fix it up so it looks better. Okay, and uh, here we go. There you go, you got your running cycle. And if you want, you could even go into better detail. Now, I don't usually do this, but it, some people like doing it. You could select the keyframes that he's his both legs are in the air like this, where he's dropping. And you could actually position him to lean forward a little bit. So he looks like this. So he actually looks like he's bobbing up and down. And you don't need to, you can just copy and paste those keyframes over and over again. You don't have to go individually into them and then freaking like take up a lot of animating time. You can just be simple with it and quick. Now, I don't have a good walk cycle. <laughs> I think, like, compare, like, I, I've seen my fair share of good walk cycles, okay? And yeah, I used to have a good walk cycle and then I saw freaking. Fluffy's my my friend Sir Flufferbot. His walk cycle, his new one. I mean, it's not in the animations, but he's shown me, and his new one is just freaking. It's so good. It is so good. Now I don't know if he ever plans on making a tutorial, but if he does, oh my god, I'm gonna watch that over and over again. But yeah. Anyways, here's my running cycle. I'm giving you guys all my secrets. It pisses me off, but you know what? I'm not gonna be animating for. I might not be animating within the next, like after I graduate, so I might as well s s piss away all my freaking secrets. But yeah, that's that's how I do my running. Um, 
Yeah. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. And please like if you enjoyed. And please subscribe if you're new here because, well, I'm an animator and I suck, but I have fun doing it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have to go watch some stuff with uh, Homestay soon. He's, this is the last day here. So I will be offline, but I'm going to upload this. And I, anyways, I will see you guys later.